A national policy roundtable on the network of policymakers to support reconciliation, peace and security in Nigeria has held in Abuja with the Ministers of Foreign and Women Affairs as well as the Inspector General of Police, Chief Justice of Nigeria and religious leaders converging to profile lasting solutions to the challenges of insecurity in the nation. The interaction was organized by the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution in collaboration with the International Center for Interreligious and Intercultural Dialogue and the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies. Dennis Adegunloye was there. Freedom from fear, wants, and the attainment of human dignity are the three cardinal objectives of this policy formation roundtable, and key issues have been identified in achieving these. To achieve sustainable peace, security and development in any community, the people must be integrated at the conception, implementation, monitoring and reporting strategies. It has been absolutely disastrous for us. Describing the intervention as timely given the challenges Nigeria and some parts of the world are currently facing, Minister of Foreign Affairs Jeffrey Onyema says it is a matter of priority for Nigeria and the global community to address issues of conflict and come up with sustainable solutions. Nigeria, he says, is awash with instances of violent conflicts and acrimony that have erupted as a result of the manipulation of religion and other identity markers such as ethnicity. If we look at all the religions, they all preach peace and love. But there will always be individuals who will find ways of manipulating uh, religion to create conflict. When we use religion and embrace religion as it is meant to be embraced, it is a tremendous force for good. When people are poorly educated, they can be miseducated. It is often said that any society or community that seeks peace must, as a matter of necessity, pay adequate attention to peace building in its drive towards attainment of security and development. For Dame Pauline Talon, the way forward is straightforward. Four women out of maybe 50 men. Are we doing justice to this discussion? If we want to be sincere to ourselves, we cannot effectively address the problem of conflict resolution without having more women on the decision table. Other speakers echoed these sentiments and also called for more powers to be given to state and local governments, improvements in intelligence gathering, more inclusion of ordinary Nigerians, and community policing. This collaboration between the Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution and international partners is expected to yield a clear and workable policy document that will prove effective for sustainable peace and security in Nigeria. In Abuja, Dennis Adigunluye, NTA News.